Since we've been on the topic of race, <laughs> your math transitions, your trans- transitions be the illest, son. <laughs> <laughs> math transitions is the illest. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, I and, and this was something I said to you personally. I was like, I don't really want it. I didn't want this to be like just a focal point of us sitting down. Mm-hmm. I wanted it to be more things because. There's been so many things said already. There was there was you with the uh, the apology, which is, in some people's opinion they feel like made it worse, which is backwards to me. Like you do something, you don't feel comfortable with it, you apologize, and they're like, "No, it's worse now." So what were you supposed to say? Yeah, motherfucker, I said it. Like what what were you supposed to do? You feel me? But you get to this point where it's like some people want to hold this against you. Some people don't. What I want to know is watching the apology. As you said, you came from a particular background, a racist background to quote you. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to get some insight on what that is. Of course. Um, So racism and ignorance, I think, are like coincide deeply with that, especially growing up in like an all white town. Right. Um, What town is this? uh, Castle Rock, Colorado. Castle Rock, Colorado. Oh, yeah. Small town in it's, Colorado. It's, so it's not safe for people like me. That's what you're saying? It's like... Well, there's like... Don't, growing don't up, there was the nobody. Like, there was there, nobody. I, like, I think there was like one black kid in my school. Wow. One. one. All white. Um, did you tease him? No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask. I gotta ask. I gotta ask. No. But I think like the, the hard part about this for me is I feel like everything I'm being s- said is like being sort of like grown to something that it can be too, mm-hmm. but what I was trying to say is I'm from a, uh, an upbringing that is rooted in ignorance, right. as a lot of white people are, because we're not that far away from everything that right. happened. It's like- you're, you're not that close to everything that happened. Yeah, for sure. Right. I'm not, yeah, exactly. I'm not right. that close to everything that happened, but also my parents' generation and then their parents' generation was like where so like everything was still there, you know? Right. So it's like, we're not that distant from it. So my parents, you know, there is some racism that my parents were raised with yeah. and inherently being raised by people with that, right. I'm gonna get some of that too. Right. So uh, but with, uh, I wasn't, are you saying your parents was home like these niggas? Uh, I mean, I definitely heard some racist comments growing up right. that, I would, that are deplorable to, for me today. Right. Um, but I wasn't raised with racist ideals like to hate anybody of color okay. or anything like that. Okay. But yeah, I'm not gonna like, my whole thing is like now I'm all, especially where I'm at in my path in life, I'm mm-hmm. all about taking accountability and being as, as honest about who I am right. and where I sit and that's all I can do is be like, yeah, I was raised and I said some things growing up that like right now it definitely would not, you know? Right. Um, I thought things that right now I definitely do not think. Right. And I think talking about that might bring some people that are fans of Battle Rap and fans of my channel to be like, oh yeah, I kind of I kind thought of that like way too, way. Yeah. you know? And like kind of like being more comfortable being like, yeah, how I used to think was wrong. Even if like they view it as not being totally racist it's like it still is you know at the end of the day even me laughing at that joke it's like there are people I still see to this day being like all he did was laugh at a joke and my point with bringing this this discussion up over and over again is to reiterate that it is incorrect Mm -hmm. and let's talk about why it is incorrect right so yeah so definitely raised with like ignorant um ideals to a degree but not straight out like Total racism. Where is it? Right. Um, but I also see, um, you know, B. Dot brought up a point that he views, he thinks all white people are inherently racist, and it's hard for me to disagree with that, honestly. Well, I, I, me personally, I feel like everybody's racist to a certain extent because, all right, not racist, prejudice. Definitely. Yeah, yeah for sure. Prejudice in a way where, um, if I'm black. I am going to feel a certain way, and society kind of helps program us to feel certain ways about certain races. I'm going to feel a certain way about a white cop or a white person, you know, if we interact in a negative way. Mm -hmm. I'm automatically already thinking in my mind, you're probably racist. Yeah. 
even if it's like you stepped on my shoes in the club and you didn't want to apologize, yeah. I'm going to think, yo, you don't want to apologize because he's racist. When in reality, he might just be an asshole. He might have did it to like five white people before he got to me. Mm -hmm. So I think everybody has like this, this part of their mind where it's like survival mode in a way. Where it's like, you know, my race, you know, I, I want us to win. Like I'm doing the a, a support black business. But it would be weird for people to see me on here like, yeah, support white business. It would be weird. So... It's, this race thing is, we got to be careful with the, the, the ideas or the, the lines that we, we, we cross or respect. Just because I like mac and cheese the most, don't mean I got something against mashed potatoes. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. But I wanted to get more in depth with um. All right, you saying all right, Colorado? You grew up. Yeah, I got, there. A, I got a pretty in depth question myself too. You know, like I think just for this clearing this up, probably will help out in any other way for for many other people. It's you was around more or less, let's say, uh, racial verbal abuse at that time. It was what we call verbal abuse. Right. Mm -hmm. Was there times where you maybe been around physical abuse of any type of racial shit? No. No, you know I've never saying? seen anything. Because like this that. is an it's, it's something you automatically start thinking. Wait, if he around that type of shit, they probably yeah. like you said. Look at the first right. question you asked about the well, one black kid. Right? Did you tease him? Uh, you know like you know, right. some things being said that definitely are racist. You know? Oh, like in right. your household. In my household, at school, oh. like amongst friends. But you and your boys never jump no black people, right? No, exactly. No. I've never yeah, seen exactly. anybody. I mean, like, yeah, so. nothing yeah, of that nature. But yeah. the, I'm not trying to be like. You know, I'm, I'm basically trying to call it all ignorance as racism. As, of course, right. so, of course. And just be honest about that because I feel like that's all you can do for, and especially me being a guest in black culture, I feel like it's of the utmost importance to be honest about that and be right. like, yeah, I was raised like, you know, with some ignorant shit going on in my right. household, you know? Right. What, what, what made you cross, what made you decide to be different? Um, well, I've always loved hip hop. Like always, um, you know, the first battle I saw was in 98. I'm 35, so I was like relatively young me. at the time. Yeah. It was RZA vs. Moon. <laughs> RZA vs. Moon? Yeah. Moon? Like Moon? Yeah. On From stage, Jersey? Right? Yeah, on the stage. stage. Yep. Yeah. Moon? Oh, yeah. yeah. What? Moon. So yeah. Check that out. Oh, you battled him too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I battled him. Shout out to Smoke. Old man with the cold hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, wow. But yeah, I've always been a Who fan. won that? Uh, moon did. Moon beat RZA. <laughs> it's my life. Yeah. Moon beat RZA. Yeah, that's in front pretty... of thousands of people. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> On the stage. Swave I remember and Ike seeing Moon in the Fight Club. Yeah. That's about it. Sway was there? Yeah. Of course. Yeah, Sway like, was there? He was like, I was at that battle. Yeah. I was like, holy yeah. shit. What? Yeah. You said, you said it, was, it was 67? What, what, what year was it? 67. <laughs> so he was going to be like, yo, man, I don't like that. I don't like that. Get that, get that, bro. You know I ain't no 67, nigga. I'm, I'm only five years older than you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, always been a fan of hip hop. Um, mm -hmm. And also moving away from Colorado was a big thing, too. I moved to uh, the Bay Area when I was mm -hmm. 18. Right. And I've never moved back to Colorado. So I've lived in California for uh, 17 years now. 17 years. So yeah, and just like getting in a different environment, being around a bunch of different people, um, mm -hmm. being accepted into black culture. Um, yeah, changed a lot of things, definitely. When you say acceptance, what 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 exactly is acceptance to you? Um, being involved in it in any way, shape, and form, like mm -hmm. being allowed to be able to come in and film and be paid, mm -hmm. and being allowed to be able to like film a music video, like. Well, every... I would say I would say that's not necessarily acceptance. Mm. Those are business situations. Okay. Acceptance to me is like someone who bought an X-Clan album saying Eminem is top five. That's like acceptance, you know what okay. I mean? I'd say the acceptance for me was seeing, being at battles yeah. and paying attention to Avocado reacting to bars. For sure. <laughs> sometimes he yeah. would be the loudest yeah. person. Yeah, like, I'm say I was saying yeah. where it started, but it definitely got to a, a place where like 
I had fa- like I had fans, like people were fans yeah. of me, right? Which was very weird to me because I'm like I'm because you would have got fucking, reacted, you yeah, got like yeah, I'm like I'm just out a battle gym and you was like in the yeah. background like he's so gangster. Yeah. I was like, I had to kick those chicken nuggets <laughs> off the stage. Yeah, <laughs> the gym's brought. Yo, I had um, the oh man, I thought up the best rebuttal for that afterwards. Yeah, it's got to be the worst. Oh, that's it. I was like, well, how many it's chicken like nuggets did you drop? What was it, about 30? Why don't you get, a, get down here and clean this up, nigga? Stop being dirty. Ooh, was, that would have just bodied it. Yeah. I thought that shit up after. I was bad. When I was Jim's? Yeah. Yeah, Jim's. But Avocado threw me off with the, he's so gangster. He, I did just left my mind. Yeah. <laughs> so, that was a fight. That would have been crazy. Yeah, that would have been, been crazy. But yeah. yeah, definitely been accepted into this culture with open arms. Like, I, I don't feel like I ever felt like uncomfortable. Right. Nobody ever like questioned my motives right. <clears throat> being here. Right. Um, because I do love battle rap. I know. You know? You um, I yeah. left a good job to be doing this full time. Um, right. And now I'm on the road dedicating literally my life to this tournament. Um, so yeah, it got accepted and, um, you drove out here? Yeah, I drove out here. So I took this tournament on the road because I wanted to bring the production to the next level and I can't fly with all that gear. So got a van, driving to Atlanta, Jersey, Detroit, LA, and then back again and then staying in LA. So that's dope. Yeah. That's dope. But so yeah. A documentary right there. Yeah, I know. I know. That. Yeah. 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 So yeah, man. I mean, I, I. He gave me his vibes. <laughs> like, he already started. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm blowing up. <laughs> right? Like, like, we already thought about that. It's already in the works, man. You know, well, right. But yeah, the acceptance was something that I'm definitely like cognitive of. I'm, I, I know it, and um, yeah, I think that's something that's worth mentioning. Is mm-hmm. that black culture does accept people, right. like especially hip hop. Right. And I think that actually doesn't get discussed enough by somebody who's white. You right. know, that's like, I never had a problem getting in here. Right. And I was a guest and like open arms, like come in, yeah. you know, like be a part of us, join the party, you know. Right. Um, but it is something to note that I am a guest at the end of the day. And mm-hmm. if I violate the rules, there's the door, you know. Right. So, yeah, this, this, uh, this thing has been a good lesson in that, I feel. Mm-hmm. So... Turn smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard, making fiends leave earth you heard. Got your baby mama thirst you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf you heard. Told Jim I need a bomb, I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with gorillas. Now I'm rock.